In this video, I'm going to be building an MPCNC machine. That stands for Mostly Printed CNC. And yes, you can go online and you can download all of the files that you need and 3D print them. And then with some screws and some motors and some other external parts, you can assemble a mostly 3D printed CNC machine. And I'll put links to everything uh, that you need to know down in the description. And yes, I have built one of these before in the past. And I got rid of that machine, and the main reason was because it was always in the way. I built it on a piece of plywood, and it seems like everywhere I put it, every flat surface in the shop, I always needed to work there, so the thing was always in the way, and I was always moving it. And if I tucked it away in the corner, when I did need to use it, I had to go dig it out, clear off a spot for it to set it up and use it. So it just got to be a big pain because it was always in the way. So what I'm gonna do different on this build, I'm gonna utilize the biggest waste of space currently in the shop, and that is this area right here underneath my work table. Now I haven't touched this stuff in years and it's got a layer of dust on it that's so thick that I'm really kinda of embarrassed to show it to you guys but I think this would be a perfect place to put an MPCNC machine. And what I'm gonna do is put some long drawer slides under here and then mount the CNC machine on those drawer slides. So then when I wanna use it, all I have to do is just pull it out and I can use the machine. And then when I'm done, just push it back under there and I don't have to move or manipulate anything in the shop. And it would be a nice, easy place to tuck this thing away when I'm not using it. Okay, so I've got the drawer slide installed and I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It opens nice and smooth, shuts nice and smooth. And now I've got a nice clean level surface for my MPCNC. So now that the drawer is finished, it's time to start assembling the machine. That means I need to do something with all of these 3D printed parts.
So I've got the MPCNC fully assembled, at least all of the 3D printed parts. The only thing left to do now is to start wiring up these motors so that I can start cutting some stuff with this. But the problem I've got right now is nobody has the circuit board that I need to make this work in stock. I really am digging the out of the way design here because the machine is always out of the way when I don't need it. And if I do need it, it's always available. So if you want more information on this project, like where to get the 3D printed files or links to some of the products I used in the video, go check out the Making Stuff webpage. I'll put the URL right here and I'll also drop it down in the description of the video. And if you like the video, please give me that big thumbs up. That lets me know what types of videos you guys like to watch. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.